Paul, it's a pleasure to welcome you to uh, to Pride Park Stadium as, as Derby County's head coach. How have the first couple of days on the job been for you? Uh, honestly, a bit hectic. Uh, I've met uh, the majority of the staff at the training ground yesterday, um, and obviously because of the academy and everything was at the training ground, uh, there's a lot going on. So it's been hectic, but we've had good time on the grass with the players, really pleased with them. I think, well, I like to think they'll buy into us. Like I, you know, I follow uh, Liam in, who's done a brilliant job, put a really good side together in a difficult situation, really. And then we've got to try and progress the club and progress the team and, and build uh, a really competitive team. Uh, and we've just got to, you know, uh, I'd like to think that we've been brought in because of what we are as football coaches, but what we are as people. And uh, we've got to try and filter that into the players. So it's been a good couple of days with the players, good, a good couple of days with the staff. I've never met so many people, but everyone feels like they're pulling in the right direction, which from my point of view is great. What's the attraction of, of Derby for you? Um, well, a few things really. I think the biggest thing was um, when the opportunity arrived, it came about really, that um, it was the fact that there's, there's a few, like a handful, if people are honest in football, there's a handful of clubs that aren't in the Premier League that will get to the Premier League. Now, whether I can play a part in that, a big part, a small part, whether I'm the lucky one who takes them back to the Premier League, I don't know. But that is... That is the ambition of the club. I'm not saying it's the ambition of the club within 24 months. I'm not saying it like that. But I do believe that this club will get back to the Premier League and have great time. So I, I want to be part of that journey. Look, I've come away from a, a brilliant journey in, in my previous job that I loved. I felt like we improved everything about the club um, with the ownership's help. And I feel like this club's the same. It's had a change of ownership. It feels like we can stamp our culture and our respect values onto everything. And hopefully put on performances on the pitch that the fans like and it's just a, a real good opportunity for us as a management team to take a real big step. I know we're here to talk about Derby but it would be remiss of me not to mention Rotherham. Um, how difficult was it to leave? Difficult, uh, very difficult. I think even on the last day uh, when I was sort of saying goodbyes it was difficult. I'm, I'm an emotional guy. I was emotionally attached to all my players, all my staff. They were all people that I employed. I had really good relationships with all um, majority of the fans, uh, I think, uh, the sponsors and all that, but it was difficult. It's a bit like, the best way to explain it is if you, um, well, not the best way, my analogy is if you, if you buy a new house, you're excited about moving into the new house, but when you actually shut the front door on your old house, it's got a lot of great memories in that house, and it felt a little bit like that. So. It was really difficult. I knew it was the right decision, though, and you know that's how football is. I can't stay the manager there forever. Uh, we'd had a great, a great journey. It's been amazing, and we left the club in, in better fettle than what we found it, and that was that was important to me. So you know, I wish the next uh, group who who take over that team all the best, and I look forward to watching their results. But you know, obviously now my focus is on, and trying to do um, similar here. You mentioned the staff, your staff, a couple of times already. Um, they're here having a look around the stadium. They're next door watching this, actually. Oh, they? Um, they are. Um, wow. we'll, show you, we'll show you next door afterwards. Um, but is it fair to say that you wouldn't have come without them? Well, 100% is fair, fair to say that. Like, I, I'm not the brains of the, uh, the, the group. I'm just the, the leader. I just s s select really good people, uh, delegate uh, really well. But... Like Richie, my number two, is an amazing football coach, uh, and you can speak to any of the players, they'll tell you that. They'll be impressed with him after two days. Uh, Hammy uh, is, is crucial. Uh, he speaks to the players individually more. He uh, has relationships with them, which is, um, in my opinion, look, football is ability, obviously, but it's 90% psychology, and the lads have got to feel loved and cared for and know that we do well for him. Hammy's brilliant at that, really good at that, but really good on the attacking play, on the wingers, on the strikers, all that sort of thing. So Hammy's essential. Andy, my goalkeeping coach, has been like, I don't know, we had 28 clean sheets last year. I think we Rotherham had five out of nine in the champ this year. His coaching of the goalkeepers is imperative. You, without a decent goalkeeper, you're going to struggle to pick up any points. But it's not just that, it's his attention to detail on set pieces and that. I think we had one of the best records on defensive set plays and all them little facets own up, uh, add up. Sorry, But like, I'm, just the, I'm just the voice, really, um, and the, probably the comedian. But I'm the, the one at the front 
but uh, without them, the, you know, there is no team. And if neither, if none of them wanted to come, then it wouldn't have happened. And I discussed it thoroughly with all four, uh, all three of them, uh, and made the decision. And luckily, you know, we we work as a group, and that's why it works. And chemically, it works because you know. Uh, in the room it works, we all have different opinions, we all discuss the team, fundamentally it's me that picks it, but everyone has a say and that's why it was uh, it was all or none. I know you've only had a couple of days with them and, and not everyone is there because you've got international call-ups, but yeah. what have been your first impressions of the players? <sighs> well, um, they're good people, uh, which is crucial to me. I, I, you know, I'd never sign people, uh, in my opinion, that aren't good. Uh, they're people you, you want to hang out with, they're people that you want to talk around the coffee machine with, they're, they're good lads, they want to learn. Look, I asked them, I came out straight with it, I don't, don't, don't want to come across disingenuous, but I asked them straight away, look, what do you want to achieve? They told me, so I said, OK, if that's what you want to achieve, this is how it's going to have to happen. These are the points you need to collect, this is the standards you have to take. And I think they've um, agreed and come aboard with it. I think. Uh, they're in a position where, look, we've got a lot of very good, very good young players and very good senior players. Um, so, you know, ideally you'd have some in, in between, uh, the 23, the 29s, but it's a really good balance in that respect that the seniors drive uh, the younger pros on. But the actual standard in training has really impressed me. The, the movement of the ball is really good, look, you know, uh, I appreciate you, you might ask me or someone else might ask me my style of play, but I want to press, I want to get the ball back high, I want to stop counter-attacks, I want to keep attacks going, and for that you have to press, you have to be athletic, but fundamentally you still have to be very good on the ball, and uh, I think the lads have been uh, really conducive to what we're trying to do, so yeah, uh, I'm really, really pleased with them. I, I'm not sitting here like saying this and then walk out the room and go, but what about him? There's not a character that I haven't uh, got on with, and I know as a manager, you know, it's, it's, I'm a relationship manager more than anything. I have to get to know him. I want to get to know their families. I want to get to know their lives, and it does take time. But from the first two days, I've been really, really pleased. People will look at your CV and, and look at Derby in, in League One and inevitably say he's here to get the club promoted and, and quickly. Is that a realistic ambition, do you think? Well, it's an ambition of mine. I wouldn't come here not to be at the top of the league. It's an ambition of mine. It's an ambition of the club and it's an ambition of David to get the club uh, you know, through the leagues, obviously. Now, how long that takes, I don't know. It isn't like we can't just come in on day one and, and snap our fingers and win every single game. And in fairness, we inherit a good team in a good position. So. There's a lot of things you can control and there's a lot of uncontrollables. But, um, yeah, we, we've come here to try and get this team promoted and we'll, everyone who knows me and knows my staff, like, we'll, we'll literally give everything. But uh, it is a realistic, it isn't like me sitting here like it's Disney World going, oh, if we could get promoted and we're 21st, we're, we're not in a bad position. There's obviously things we need to improve on, but then the other 23 teams need to improve on stuff as well. But we're in a good position and I'd, you know, I'd like to think come the end of the season we'll be there or thereabouts, but that isn't a guarantee, but uh, we, we should be there. And finally, what should supporters expect from Paul Warren's Derby County? Well, that's a good question, a uh, really good question. I, I, I don't honestly know. Um, I'd like to think that uh, you'll see a team with a real integrity. Uh, I'd like to think you'll see a team that even if they're losing in the 80th minute, you won't want to leave the crowd, you won't want to leave the ground, you want to cheer them off at the end because they will literally leave everything they have on the pitch. They will never give up. I'd like to think they'll be relentless. I'd like to think they'll be fearless. They'll be brave on the ball, and um, yeah, I think they'll have a, a, a togetherness, which I think they already have, but a, a real drive to succeed. And uh, you know, if you know whichever system you play, style you play, take all that back. You're just going to have 11 people on the pitch at any one time that want to win for this club. And I think, as a fan and as a manager, I think that's all you can ask for. Paul, we wish you all the best. Welcome to Derby. Thank you. Can't wait.